Her phone's almost dead. She's out of water. But she made it to the lake, so she can make it back to her car, right? No, I didn't. I got so lost. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Cosmix Wonderland. And today's video is a story time. And let me tell you, it's a doozy. Get yourself a snack. I swear to goodness, get a beverage. You're gonna need it, okay? First thing is first. This video may look a bit different for you guys because I'm using a new camera. Yes, I went out and bought a brand new camera, not because I wanted to, but because I had to. I decided to take my dog Mia on a hike to the reservoir. Been there with daddy with my husband, with her daddy, multiple times, okay? But your girl Cosmix is horrible at directions. So bad, like, ugh, it is a godsend. I have not been kidnapped, I swear to God. Like, all you gotta do is take me five blocks in any direction without me knowing, and I will have no idea where I am. None. I just have horrible directional skills, okay? But I thought, hey, I could do this. I could do this. I need to. Mia is so used to going on hikes that I knew I needed to take her out there. She couldn't go like a whole week, whatever, without a hike, okay? It's just not possible. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to do this. And I can do this. I hope. Made it all the way out to the reservoir, and I did take my YouTube camera with me. I decided, well, I'm going on a little adventure. It's my first hike all by myself, and I haven't been recording a whole lot of YouTube videos in the last week. So I thought, I'll turn this into a YouTube video. Took my camera, was vlogging the whole thing, me and my dog driving out there, us trying to find a spot to park and decide where we're going to go on a hike. Hoping that I can get her to the lake, because that's her favorite thing to do. I have a few uh, videos and pictures I took on my phone, and I have some Snapchats, possibly. I have some footage on my phone, separate from what I was vlogging with my camera. So I'm probably, what I'm going to do is insert those at some point in the video. I'm not sure where I'll put them, but they will be included. I did it! Yay! Not only did I take her to the res for a hike, but we found the lake. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to find the water, and I'm really happy we did. We just ended up here, and it's awesome. <laughs> I am in the sunflower field. So many sunflowers. We ended up going to the like third gate as you go in to a trail. And I thought, okay, this will be a good spot. And we park. It seemed like a clear, straight shoot all the way to the lake. It took us maybe like 20 minutes to get to the water. It was simple, easy, and I had been to that area all the time with my husband. So it was not new to me. I was like, this is familiar. I did it. Hallelujah. I did it. And I was super excited. Got some adorable footage of my dog in the lake, chewing on sticks, just being adorable. And my phone was about to die. My, we're sitting at the lake, we're hanging out, and I know, I have like 20-30 minutes before my phone is dead. And that depends on how many notifications that I get. If my TikTok keeps blowing up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, my phone's just gonna die, like, super fast. So, I told my dog, I'm like, let's go, Mia, let's go, we're gonna go back now, I'm sorry we can't stay longer. As we're walking up the hill... The water bottle that I was carrying with our water in it falls. I didn't have the lid screwed on tight enough from when I gave her water at the lake. 
and the whole water bottle falls, rolls down the hill. I lose all of our water. Now, if you think things can't get any worse, her phone's almost dead. She's out of water. But she made it to the lake, so she can make it back to her car, right? No, I didn't. I got so lost. What ended up happening is there was a fork in the road. It teed off to the left and to the right. And I ended up going right when I should have went left. And I made it to these goalies and I knew like, oh my god. I don't see my car. None of this now looks familiar at all. My phone's about to die. It's hot out here. I don't have any water. Because there was only a, a little bit left in another bottle I brought, and I needed to save that for my dog. I'm like, I take care of her before me. She's my doggy daughter, and it doesn't matter if I'm thirsty. I know that she is. And I wasn't, I was like, no, I cannot drink this, even though I want to. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what I did wrong. Like, what happened? I don't know. I was so confused, because when we entered... The trail, I didn't see a fork. I didn't see one. So I'm like looking around and looking around and I think, oh my God, I need to call my husband and see what he thinks. I sent him my location on my iPhone and I guess because I was out at the res, whatever, he couldn't tell where I was. He knew from some of the pictures and videos what trail that I was on. So he's the one that explained to me, honey, there was a fork in the road. You went the wrong way, you know, find the fork, just take the other turn. And I was like, there is no fork in the road. I didn't see one. There's not. I don't know where I am. And I'm tweeting about this because I am, like, my life is flashing before my eyes. This was one of my biggest fears of all time that if I went on a hike by myself that I would get lost and I would just, like, die in the woods or whatever. So, I'm freaking out, and I'm like, I'm going to tweet this just in case I don't make it out of here, and someone needs to call search and rescue for me, you feel? And so, I tweeted about it. I'll throw the tweet in here. Look at us go! Having fun, honey. I love that I can make her day. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Like, really, really awesome. Oh, she's doing her happy dance. Look at her. Oh my god, she's so happy. She's just gonna slide down the rocks. Look at how freaking cute is this. Oh boy. This is where it gets really good. The whole reason why I have a new camera that I'm recording on right now. So I finally make it back to my car. I am super excited. I'm like, oh my god, I live to see another day. Coyotes are not going to eat me. I'm okay. And <laughs> I, when I do vlogs and I do my intro or I get back to my car, I like to put my camera on top of the hood of my car because it's the perfect height. I don't have to hold it, you know, and I can record whatever it is I want to record. I was so in shock and I, my anxiety was through the roof, okay, because I had been walking around the res on this trail I went to the lake got lost on my way back had to go back to the lake and come back couldn't find the fork I'm like pacing around it took me about an hour to find my car and like I told you guys it only took us 20 minutes to get from the car to the lake so and I'm an idiot I was only like maybe like I think my husband said something like 10 yards or whatever from my car I got lost, and my car was literally not even a block away from me. Anyways, so I put my camera on the top of my car, because like I said, I was vlogging the whole day, 
and I was like, oh my god, you guys, I made it back to my car, like, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm alive, like, I just want to go home, no more adventures for me, it was basically like that, and I gave my dog the rest of the water, and I got her in the back seat, we loaded up, got my car, got my dog, got my purse, like, I thought I had everything, I was ready to go. I did not grab my camera, which was, if you remember, on top of the car, and so I drove off with my camera on the top of the car. I didn't realize this for a good three, four hours because I got home, I was relaxing, I opened mail, like I watched TV, but at some point, finally, I think it was during Dr. Phil, honestly, I love Dr. Phil. Hate if you want to hate, but I love the Dr. Phil show, and I think it was like around 4 to 5, somewhere around there is whenever I was like, okay, after Dr. Phil, I'm going to record a YouTube video. Where's my camera? And I looked everywhere, and I finally realized what happened. I didn't let it get to me. I could have freaked out. I could have been so upset, but I had had such bad luck for that day and the whole day before. So much went wrong and just everything was weird and not working out right and it if I had let every little thing that happened during that 48 hours upset me I would have been a total wreck. I just decided like I was like it's not that big of a deal. What was scarier to me that day was the thought of not being able to find my car. Being out there, running into wild animals, you know, getting hungry, getting dehydrated. Like, I got a sunburnt nose from being out there. Like, that's how long I was out there, is I got a sunburn on my nose. Because I'm like, where's my car? Like, I've, you know, <sighs> mm. But anyways, that really, really sucked. And when I realized I had lost my camera, I did drive back out there to look for it. I didn't think that it was going to be fixable. I thought it would be damaged beyond compare. Wait. I thought that it would be damaged beyond repair and that it probably got ran over or something. But to my surprise, when I went back out there, there was no sign of my camera anywhere. Like, nowhere. There was not any broken pieces or anything. And I was, I'm still extremely puzzled by that. Because if it fell off my car, it would have broke something, right? Like, there would have been something. Sorry. Popping my joints. Pop, 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 pop. So, I think that somebody did find my camera and decided to just keep it, and, um, great find for you. Uh, I had to go and buy a new camera set up, so that cost me a lot of money that I was not expecting to spend. I really think I'm going to love my new setup, however, I wasn't expecting to have to do this right now. I thought that the next camera I got would have been something I really, really thought about and wanted and thought very, very wisely about. Not that, oh, I need one and I need one now. Like, so, I'm not sure who has my camera, but whoever found it, I did record a YouTube video on it, so I'm hoping... People are snoopy! You know that they are looking to see what's on this camera. It's just me vlogging, but I do my intro and my outro and stuff, so maybe, cross my fingers, I'm hoping that if someone, if you're watching this and you were the one who picked up my camera, just send me a DM, get a hold of me on social media, let me know, because I would really greatly appreciate to get that back 
but I understand it's probably gone forever. Whoever has it is probably, you know, really enjoying their new camera. And yeah, but it was a crazy adventure and I didn't want to go on another one anytime soon. I felt really accomplished that I did so well up until the very end and everything went downhill fast. But I want you guys to um, let me know down in the comments section what you think of my new camera. And just let me know what you think of my my new camera and the video quality. How does this look? How does it sound? Do you guys like this better than my old one? Can you not tell a difference? I'm curious what you guys think. And yeah, I'm a survivor. I made it and I got the hell up out of there. And everything's good. It's fine. It's weird. I had to get a new camera, but it's a new day, and we just keep marching forward, alright? So, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my crazy story time of how I got lost in the prairie. Okay? Oh gosh, I don't, maybe that's what I'll call it, maybe, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay fantabulous, and as always, I will stay fantabulous for you guys. Bye!